Are you looking into replacing your old toilet? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you how to change out this old toilet to a brand new one. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. First thing that you want to do is you want to find the water supply valve and shut that off. Usually it's located on the bottom of the toilet tank. Take off the tank cover and you're going to flush down the remaining water inside that tank. And whatever is remaining in there, you should have about an inch of water. And you're just going to use this syringe if you're interested in using the same one that i use on this video i'll leave the link on the description down below including all the other tools that i use within this video use that syringe and take out the water inside your toilet bowl as well if you want to use gloves you may do so as well now you want to detach the water supply valve detach to your tank and just take that off and drain the remaining water inside that hose i'm going to be using a number 13 socket wrench and i'm going to use that so that i can remove the tank bolt that is attaching the tank to the tank bowl. Now use a screwdriver so that you can hold that rusted tank bolt on top. Now if it's rusted like that, it's completely normal. It's from the minerals buildup over time. What I'm gonna do is take out the float inside so that I can have more room. You're not gonna need this anyway, so whatever you can take out, you may do so as well to make the job easier so you can have more room while you're navigating through there. I'm using my channel lock pliers to hold that in place, or you can just use a screwdriver as well to hold it while you're using your socket wrench and then do the same thing on the other side and this should nicely come off easily. Now, depending on your situation, your tank bowl would either be caulked to the floor. If not, it's easier for you. But for me, I usually caulk the toilet bowl onto the floor anyways. This produces a nice seal around the tank. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a number 12, this time soccer wrench. And I'm going to go and loosen up the tank bolts that are attached to the tank bowl to the floor. Now, you're going to be doing this on both sides. It's going to should have two nuts in there, one at the top and one on the inside. So stay tuned for that later. So here is that socket number, number 12. And we usually, this should easily come off right after you take out the caulking and detach those two nuts on each side. Now, what you're going to have is a little bit of gas smell. So just bear with me. If you don't want like that gas smell, then you can just cover that up piece of rag or something or tape it up what i'm removing right here is the toilet wax this is the toilet wax seal that is attached to the toilet flange so you can have that nice seal between the tank bowl up to your drainage now the, the reason why i don't like using wax is this very reason right here it takes a very long time to clean up it's very messy and it's just really messy work so take your time make sure you take out as much wax as you can clean up the best that you can and that should be it. Now I'm going to be showing you later on a better method there rather than using wax. And it's going to be a better, easier way for future maintenance, which is the better than wax toilet seal. This one, no leaks. This is what I usually like to use. It's a little hard for me to take out those tank bolts attached to, to the floor. So I'm just cutting it off and I'm going to be doing away with that later on. Now in my situation, somebody grouted over where the nuts were located attached to the bolts. So I just had to chisel away so I can loosen up these remaining bolts and nuts that were under there. But take your time on this. It should come off on both sides. The better than wax should have come with this hardware that you can replace. I'm gonna place these bolts exactly where you remove the old ones. You're gonna tighten that up and then you're gonna place this better than wax seal over the toilet flange nicely around it. So it works really well, just like what this one I didn't have to use the adapter so once that's done we're going to place the new toilet bowl right on top of that better than wax flange and just press against nice and easy on there the better than wax should come with the kit also with these plastic covers right here now we're going to be using this for our socket wrench and we're going to use that to tighten down you don't want to over tighten it because this is porcelain and it's bound to crack if you over tighten so make sure you just hand tighten it and we're going to place that cover for aesthetics now this is another flange that connects to between your tank bowl up to your toilet tank see that this newer tank has these very nice toilet tank bolts now the old tank bolts and it doesn't have this really nice surrounded plastic piece with the rubber surround attached to it and i'll show you that later the differences as you can see that's is the difference with the new ones versus the older ones this actually has a canister on there so this canister valve has a lot better mechanism than using your toilet flappers now the flappers are the older version this canister valve is a lot better now we're going to go and take out the hardware and we're going to go and attach it onto to attach the toilet tank to the toilet bowl. Again, don't over tighten just enough so that it is nice and sturdy. We're going to attach the toilet seat. These toilet seats are nice, quiet, closed ones. 
the older ones don't have these and you can always upgrade to these seats anyways later on if you do plan to go upgrade your toilet seat this will hold the mechanism or the seat in place just place it under there and what the tool that i'm going to use is this milwaukee i love using this tool right here it comes with a flat head and a phillips head attached to this knife now, if you're interested on this tool, I'll leave the link in the description down below. I love this pocket knife because it has multi-purpose on it. It's very, very awesome tool. Check the link on the description down below. Now, as you can see, this is a very quiet, closed seat. Now, after that, we're going to use plumber's tape or Teflon tape. Wrap it around. We're going around it counterclockwise, which is the attachment for the hose with the water supply. Now, just take your time threading this. And to make it tight, use channel lock pliers or a pipe wrench or whichever tool that you wish. Just make sure that you tighten this so that there's going to be no more leaks. And once we attach that, simply just turn on back your water supply line. You'll be able to see your toilet tank starting to fill up just like this. And you'll be seeing water also starting to flow back into your toilet tank. I also want to bring out the flapper valve. Now the disadvantage of having a rubber flapper valve and I myself is a witness to this is that my older toilets before had them and over time around the seal of that rubber flapper valve calcium buildups builds up around there so that it doesn't create a nice seal anymore and the water actually starts going through that seal because it creates that gap created by the calcium buildup and you can kind of see, and it's not happening right now because obviously this is a new toilet, but on the old flapper valve, you'll see water lines around the toilet bowl where the water is slowly dripping out from the siphon jets around the rim. Now again, the disadvantage of the canister valve though is it's a little bit more expensive and it takes a little bit more parts so that it will coincide with the other parts. But overall, I think over time, it is a great investment versus the flapper valve. Now the other thing that I want to point out is, you see that little black thing right there? That is your toilet tank bolts. Now there's one on each side of the tank. It connects your toilet tank with your toilet bowl. Older versions of the toilets, kind of similar to that, but it has a metal bolt and it has a rubber washer. Now this top right here is hard plastic, but what connects underneath here is a tube rubber. The tube rubber creates a seal from the tank all the way to the tank bowl now i can't really show you what it look what it looks like underneath there but you can see that the gap that's all rubber older version toilets you can see the bolt is metal and it's exposed prone for more to leak because the only thing that's holding that water from seeping out of this toilet tank is that one rubber rubber ring that goes onto the bottom of this tank bolt so there's other version toilets also that eliminates the tank bolts as well i made a video on that where i made uh i installed one where they don't even have tank bolts anymore it's just straight straight from the canister all the way to the bowl those types of toilets are a little more pricier and it's up to you if you want to upgrade to that if you are planning to go and change out your toilet and upgrade those are the some of the key features that you want to look out for so that it can last longer and will prevent you from having any headaches in the future because those definitely are a pretty cool features to have on your toilet, especially these newer quiet clothes. They're all that come standard with your toilets nowadays. Okay, friends. So let me know in the comment section down below what toilet you have. Are you planning to go and upgrade your to old toilet to these newer ones? What don't you like about these newer toilet bowls or new toilets? Or what do you like on the older ones that the new ones don't have? What the new ones have that you don't like that the older ones have? Vice versa. Okay, friends. So let me know in the comment section down below if you found this video super helpful. Please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.